What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video here in Wicked Garage. As you can see, I have my dash sort of partially ripped apart. We are going to be working on these strobe lights that I've been holding off on for a while to wire in. So before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like the content, and comment down below what you think. Let's get into it guys. So as you can see, when I originally put this bed together, I put on six strobes mainly because it's very difficult for me to back into my driveway without almost getting hit. So I sort of want something to slow people down and see that I'm there. Also, if I'm on the side of the road or on a job or something, I want to be able to um, put these on just so that people can see I'm there working. I mean, obviously it's a big white truck with red wheels. You should be able to see me, but it's just easier to have this as sort of a little safety thing, so. Alright guys, so first thing I did was I cut these two, you know, about the length that they need to be. The two in the back corner will go to just the one wire there. I'm not going to jump a wire from a wire. So, they're plenty long enough. We'll just tie those two together and but connect those in so that'll go there this will run over to this side and these will all uh sort of meet over in the corner right here as well as we have this on the back so the first thing that we do if you have done any wiring is if you have any of these like grouped wires you would take the um jacket off so you know just cut that with a razor blade really uh carefully you don't want to nick the wires or anything and then um, pretty much just stripped and put the butt connectors on and crimped it. So pretty self-explanatory to this point. Um, obviously, like I said, these two in the back are going to get tied together and then they'll get butt connected into there. So we're using the red connectors on the back corners as well as that corner over there. We'll probably end up using blue on this side because we're gonna have this as well as that one and another one going from here down into the cab and then we are attaching that. So I might just go off of that and just put the two wires together there and have two wires so we can just continue using the red butt connectors. But uh, when we get to that point, we'll sort of find out. Pretty simple so far, just laying everything out, figuring everything out and, you know, getting it done. So. Let me get the rest of this all pre-wired up. We'll feed this underneath the truck and um, we'll start wiring all of the lights. All right, harness is all completed. It's just pre-wired pretty much. And then we are going to feed this through. So we'll go under there now, feed everything through and I'll come back underneath the truck to see where everything's at, to see what I'm doing. All right guys, quick little update. You can see I have the wires all wired. So I have the ground up and then this is the red power wire. We have the synchronization wire, which is the white wire, as well as um, to change the pattern on the lights is a yellow. So I just wired these three. These are, this is wired to the regular ground that goes throughout the body with all the lights. So we're gonna leave that at that. And then, um, you know, I just finished the front over there and pulling through everything. So we're gonna finish the other side and then get underneath the cab feed that wire all the way into the cab so that we can get it to the power or the switch and um you know get these lights working for the first time in probably about a year <laughs> so let's get to it all right everything's temp wired up this is a power wire going directly from the battery to, to the switch and then this is for all of the strobes so as soon as we you can see there's no power on it. And now we got strobes. So it's really cool because I actually must have flipped one of these so that they're sort of the opposite way. So I have one going up and down and one, you know, that doing the opposite at the same time. So it's perfect. But Everything's good. We're gonna tidy up all of the um, power lines and everything, and then obviously everything is good. So now 
whole truck's lit up with all the markers and you can sort of see everything. Looks pretty good. So let's finish everything up and then I'll tidy everything up and you can see how everything is done. All right guys, strobes are all wired. Everything's tucked up and uh, wrapped up so it's out of the way so I don't have to worry about it falling down. What I did in here is I ran a wire from the battery, the positive, to inside to the switch and then I used the rest that I wired underneath the cab into here. I used the power wire in order to activate the strobes in the back. Now I can put a momentary switch which is what I'm going to do. I had one just like this. Momentary is just where you click it up and then it goes back down. It sort of doesn't stay on like this regular toggle switch. So I can do that at any time. I just gotta attach a ground to the chassis and then um, the yellow wire to the switch and pretty much we're good. Um, then that allows me to change the pattern on the strobes if I want to, or uh, which there's actually a cool work light feature on here. So if I wanted to go through, I can go through that and uh, you know have everything lit up around the truck, which is pretty cool. But um, right now, you turn that on and I have it set to the pattern that I want. So everything's working good. I got one strobe that's a little bit messed up. It looks like it got moisture in it, no big deal. I just wanted to get these done because they've been sitting on this truck forever. I definitely should have wired these before I did the bed or before I put on the bed on this truck. So I didn't, but whatever, we got it done. It was a rainy day. I'm waiting for supplies, so I figured I'd get this done so that it actually looks good. And I can actually back in my driveway without almost getting hit, so. Anyway, guys, that'll be the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.